corner. Yeah, th this bout's just been going back and forth, back and forth, but it's probably an even bout now with uh, with with uh, Agnew really coming back here in the second round. Yeah, I have to agree. That definitely looked like Agnew's round, which means that it all comes down to these final three minutes of this fight. And what an unbelievably spirited battle we've been watching here at the MVP Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Championship. They might call it amateur, but you're not going to find any better than this level of entertainment from the highest levels of professional fighting. Especially this boat. This looks might be the first boat to go the distance, and uh, these guys are really putting up a spirited battle. I think the X factor here, man, he may be the conditioning of Barrican and how much he can recuperate in this final interval before the third round. It looked to me like he was very dominant in the first, but started flagging in the second, and Agnew, with his cardio conditioning, looks ready to go. Agnew has no stop in him here. He's been landing some real good knees to the body as well that I think are taking a lot, a little bit out of Barrican. Oh! Barrican eats that leg kick, but... Makes it pay dividends by snagging the leg and depositing Agnew to the canvas and ending up in a side control position. Cat-like reflexes that ba Balakin showed there, grabbing onto that leg and taking him down. It was a high-stakes gambit because that leg's borne a lot of damage the previous two rounds, but he's definitely made it pay off. And now, in the half guard of Agnew. Even though they're they're on the on the ground here, like wrestling around, I think they're really expending a lot of energy trying to knock each other. Oh, definitely! And now you see Agnew trying to get out of dodge as Bellican started raining down ground and pound. But Agnew gives up his back. Hooks go in, and it's Agnew in desperate trouble trying to fend off the rear naked choke. Here in the third round of this bout. The tide sure, sure can, can 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 change real quickly here when a guy gets a when a, when a guy gets a choke on the other guy. Eh? You see Agnew doing all the right things, doing the two on one, using two of his hands to restrain one of Balakin, and finally twisting into Balakin, getting himself out of danger, and now looking to do some damage from within Balakin's guard. Very heads up play by Jonathan Agnew. Agnew lifting Barakin up, looking for a slam, but Barakin rise to it. And you can see Agnew furious with himself for a lapse of concentration that allowed Barakin to drive in and get the double, or get right, his arms wrapped around Agnew's waist. I think Agnew was a little upset too that Balakin landed some uh, some heel kicks there to to his uh, groin area, and he was a little upset at that as well. But like he said, he was upset because he, he let go of that hold he had earlier. Now digging for the underhook on the left side is Agnew. Fatigue definitely having its way with Balakin as he was unable to capitalize on that opportunity for a takedown. Agnew still looking fresh. Balakin has definitely lost a step, and Agnew pursuing with a wild right hand. Balakin fighting back deeply with a knee, but Agnew responds with a solid knee to the stomach. You can really tell oh. Balakin is really getting fatigued here. Balakin running on fumes. Agnew rushes out with a hard right hand, but Balakin still continuing to drive forward. The knees pumping back and forth between the fighters. What an unbelievable bout we've got in our hands here, man. What a, what a spectacular fight going back and forth. Balakin really looking tired, and he comes back out of nowhere. This crowd coming alive, and justifiably so. You couldn't ask any more from either one of these fighters. The first bout to go the distance today. What a spirited battle both these guys showed, both Agnew and Balakin really going at it. And... Uh, be interesting how the judges see it tonight. It is going to be a tough one to judge. How do you see it, man? If you had to give it to one fighter or another, who would you give it to? Uh, <laughs> it's a tough one because uh, Balakin took the first round, Agni took the second round, the third round. It was just back and forth. But if I were to have to give it to one person, I think I'd probably give it to Agnew because he was the more aggressive of the two. You can't ask for any more character out of, a, out of a fighter either. Mugging for the crowd, punting his mouth guard up into the, the ceiling of this tent. 
And I would have to agree that based on what I saw in that ring, I would give rounds two and three to Jonathan Agnew. And I'll tell you something, he looks like he's ready for round four, five, and six. It certainly does. It looks like he's, there's no, there's no giving this guy Agnew. It looks like he's got so much energy, energy he could probably do another three rounds quite easily. Now we're climbing on the top rope. Like I said, no lack of personality in Team Swartella's Jonathan Agnew. As we await the judges' decision here, the semi-main event of Victory Christian Center's MVP Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Championship. Decision. Please welcome our winner, Art!